Hey, could you tell me what you can see in this page? Hello. This web page contains a title, just a website, and features a heading stating, this is a plain old website. There's also a okay, paragraph. Okay. Could you change the background of this page? Sure. What color would you like the background changed to? Red. Could you change the font color to be white? Could you increase the mm, font size of the button? To what size would you like the font of the button increased? You can specify it 25. in pick. Uh, increase more. To what specific size would you like the button? Okay. What specific? Okay. Thank you. Uh, you okay. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to use the OpenAI Real-Time API with the WebRTC. You guys may already know uh, OpenAI uh, start Real-Time API starts supporting the WebRTC, which is very cool. So let's uh, show you something over here. Uh, this project we have the uh, back end. The back end I use the uh, um, Stream Boat. So it's basically just a regular uh, web uh, web rec recitable uh, API, web API. So you have the I have the uh, base URL, I have the server port, I have the API key. If you go over here, it's just a very simple um, recitable API. So once the, the client access the access this uh, URL, it will uh, generate the it will generate it will use the uh, OpenAI credential such as the uh, token uh, something and then you will generate the SDP you will request the SDP which is the uh, session description uh, protocol I think just to return the the remote site uh, uh, remote site uh, uh, session uh, information to the uh, client side, which is the browser side. So, so basically, the backend is very uh, simple. Just one reset for API to request the SDP from the OpenAI backend. That's it. So I have it running. Um, now we have another one, which is the front end. Let me show you the front end code. OK, the front end code is just a very simple uh, HTML page, so I have this uh, content uh, HTML tag over there. Uh, let's go. This is a script. Uh, I have around uh, uh, two hundred nine of the code. So the WebRTC makes it much easier because we don't need to take care of the audio stuff. We don't need to take care of the speaker. Everything will be handled by the uh, WebRTC, and the WebRTC. Uh, already built in the browser, uh, so which is very uh, helpful for us. I also have some uh, demo about how to like use the WebRTC in the iOS. So I, I will create that. I, I have something, but not uh, uh, related with the uh, OpenAI real-time API. I have some other project that use the um, WebRTC with the iOS and Android, but not uh, specifically with the OpenAI. Okay, so here is here is the base URL, which is the one I will uh, request uh, the remote uh, session description. Okay, so here I have the mm, so this is the uh, uh, connection and the data channel. Uh, this is a standard WebRTC. If you did some project with the WebRTC, everything the same like that. Okay, so this is a function call. I Define some function like get the content of the uh, web page, get the change the background color, change the text color, change the font style, change the button style. I already demonstrated in the beginning of this video, so we don't need to care about this one. It's just some uh, regular JavaScript uh, uh, function which could uh, uh, change the style of the page. Uh, this one uh, is a very generic one. Is uh, every uh, web artist use this way? So let's start from the button. When we start the, when we click the start button, 
we will go here, start the WebRTC connection. So here, uh, this is click button. So when you click, when this is the button event. When you click, we start the WebRTC. Basically, just create the collection, uh, create the uh, data channel. So here is the way we create the data channel. Uh, add some, let's start from here. Okay, so let's, let's create the channel. The, um, the first thing when we create the channel, for the WebRTC, we need, uh, mm, okay, we need, uh, basically we need to create, create the uh, collection, create the collection, we need the offer, we, we not the offer, we need the um, SDP, which is the uh, session description. So first thing we set up my local session description. Uh, basically, this one is your own uh, IP address information, like your your own um, IP information. Not just the IP information, but also uh, contain some like a uh, firewall information. So a whole bunch of uh, stuff uh, related with your local network. Uh, this is this. They have a whole bunch of description in the WebRTC protocol. You can take a look over there. Uh, the next one we need the, now the remote the another side um, network information. So WebRTC basically is the uh, P2P connection. So you need your local uh, information, and you need you, don't, you need to know the uh, front uh, the remote no, uh, session. Uh, network stuff, so it will do the uh, exchange. You don't need to care about how they exchange that and how they connect with each other. You only need to care about set the local and set the remote. The WebRTC will uh, take care of how to connect that, uh, how to um, how to get that work, how to connect uh, each other. So there are just two very important things. One is the local uh, session, another one is the remote one. Here is how we uh, set up that. Another one is we create the data channel. We need to uh, uh, add some event, which when we get some message back uh, from the uh, WebRTC connection, if we got some message, if the message contains the uh, uh, function call, uh, that means we need to call some our, our local function because we create some function over here. So this is how it's handled that. We got the uh, function call. So we execute the function. Uh, so we got, I printed something over here. So this one just uh, uh, do the function call and uh, call back, send the call back, back to the uh, open API server side. So open API know oh, this function already get, uh, get called or something like that. So here it also is this one is also about the function call, function calling. So like most of the uh, OpenAI real time API uh, or even the OpenAI uh, API, they do the same way for the functioning call. When I get the function call, define the uh, parameter, uh, everything over here. Yeah. So this part just uh, all about the function call. Uh, this is the button we just uh, start and uh, stop. Yeah, that is how it's kind of working. Let's uh, uh, run this again. First of all, you need to stop this one. Uh, then I start this one. Okay, so this web uh, API service is running. And okay, over here. So let's stop this one again. And uh, if you don't have this go live button, you pr let's see over here. Oh, if you don't have the go live button, you may need to uh, uh, install the uh, plugin. Here you can find the live in plugin. Once you install that, you will uh, click this one. Okay, it will show up. Let's close this one. Close this one. Let's see. Okay, what's the population of the United States? As of my last update in April 2023. Okay, change the background of this page to blue. Okay, you can see that. It's uh, uh, it's very nice. It's do the it's trigger the functioning call. It's uh, do what I told it doing. 
um, I don't know how to hide this one. I have not yet dig into that one because you use the WebRTC, it will uh, use the WebRTC uh, default controller over here. I think the very good thing for the WebRTC is you don't need to uh, uh, take care of the, uh, like the echo canceling. You don't need to take, uh, talk with the, you don't need to deal with the um, hardware, the very lower end hardware. That's very difficult for the developer to handle that. You only need to uh, uh, take care about uh, your business logic. Yeah, just set up the just set up the uh, SDP, and then you can get the um, get the connection created, and doing the whatever you want, even doing the function call. Um, there for the session created. Right now we don't have the session created when you. Uh, trying to like uh, uh, put your uh, system prom, it will be inside of over here. When you request the SDP, you could uh, uh, tell the OpenAI um, the system prompt over here, uh, as well as which model uh, voice over here. You don't need to uh, do that on the uh, callback. Uh, you know, for the uh, old one. We need to do that so when we have the session uh, update uh, event come back, we do in there. So I think the WebRTC is much um, better than the original uh, WebSocket one. WebSocket one, you need to take care of everything uh, by yourself, but this one, you don't need to do that, uh, which is very helpful. So hope you guys uh, enjoy this uh, demo. Uh, I will upload this demo to the uh, GitHub so you guys could download from over there and uh, leave me a comment if you have any uh, question. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.